Hey everyone, Lee here from Martin C Property Group with my weekly real estate market update. Very exciting week this week. We've got the uh, Sunshine Coast Agricultural Holiday happening Friday, and that is for the Namble Show on the Sunshine Coast uh, Show, which is happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So make sure you get down there and check it out. What a fantastic event it is. Now let's track through to the property market across Australia. We have seen prices rise still continually, albeit at slight amounts, the prices seem to still be on the rise. Despite the fact that we had the 12th consecutive rate rise last week, and that has um, taken the wind out of the market a little bit and only momentarily. And I'd say that because I looked at the auction clearance results across Australia, and they were certainly down on the previous week, and I would say considerably. Um, but looking at it, there was a, uh, a public holiday there uh, for most states across Australia as well. So that may have impacted the number of properties being taken to auction. And the auction clearance rate was up on the same time last year as well. So a couple of factors to consider in there. And I don't think it's going to take the wind out of the property market longer term. Because have a look at what's happening in the property market. The shortage of properties coming to the market at the moment is considerable and the buyer demand is still there. The buyer demand is actually increasing because we've got more people coming to Australia uh, to live here as well, and that's gonna to continue to push up that demand. So shortage of supply, increased demand, you can only imagine property prices to continue to rise. Now this week in my blog article, I've got a little chart in there, and that's based on Phil Anderson's uh, blog recently that I read about the 18.6 year uh, property market cycles or market cycles in general. Now he's suggesting that the market's gonna to continue to rise until about 2026. Now we expect we'll lag behind the United States a little bit there, so potentially 2027 for us here. So he's suggesting for the next few years, we'll see property prices continue to rise a little bit more. Now some of the experts that I'm seeing are suggesting the inflation rate will climb a little bit more this year. The ANZ has predicted it will peak at about 4.35%. Now they're also saying at the same time that by mid next year, the RBA may have eased back on that rate by potentially 1%. Um, so that will cause a bit more of a flurry in the marketplace. It might even encourage sellers to come to the market because right now I think there's a lot of sellers sitting on the fence. Um, number one reason is because if you're selling something, you need to find somewhere to go or sellers become buyers. Now, if you're looking at the market at the moment seeing a lack of opportunities to purchase, why would you decide to sell now? Another reason is if you think the prices are going to continue to climb and that's what's happening now, more and more sellers will start to see this and go, okay, well now's an opportune time to sell and we expect more sellers to come to the market whilst the market is in a positive trajectory um, in an upward direction. So that is what potentially will happen uh, towards the end of this year and into next year as well. But that buyer demand is still going to be there and I think they can really absorb a lot of the properties that will come to the market over the next six to 12 months. Uh, one thing to consider here as well is have a look at over a longer period of time here on the Sunshine Coast, for example, um, there's a chart in my weekly blog that you can check out using the link below that shows um, property listings on the Sunshine Coast from 2010 until today. Now at the peak, but closer to 2010, there was roughly 12,500 properties for sale at that time. Today, it's about half that at 6,300 properties for sale. So that's a significant decline in the amount of properties up for grabs. And you can only expect that from 2010 till today, buyer demand has continually climbed, and that's what's going to happen. Now, if buyers see that prices are still continuously climbing, albeit on a slower trajectory than we experienced back in 2020, 2021, that's probably gonna encourage a lot of buyers to come into the market now because they wanna, won't wanna miss the boat on prices that potentially will go up significantly over the next few years. Some experts are saying that we will see property prices rise anywhere between three to 5% in 2024 and even 2025, three to 5%. So that's a fairly significant gain. Another scenario that might play out and a lot of experts are suggesting this might um, come to light towards the end of the year is that we may see a lot of property owners uh, mortgage holders that are struggling with their repayments um, having to be forced to sell their properties. Now, some of these experts are saying that rather than wait six months um, and then sell, you might be better off selling now. So if you can forecast that, you know, with another increase in interest rates by 0.25% or 0.5%, if that's going to put you in a stressed situation, a financial stress situation, 
um, in six months' time, now might be the better time to sell. Now, the reason why they're saying that is because if there's a number of people in that situation uh, and the market gets flooded by um, forced sales, that will bring property prices down. So you might be better off selling now while property prices are still high. I'm hoping that that doesn't play out because I think a lot of people can hold on through this six month period. And I do think the RBA will in, uh, reduce the uh, cash rate going into next year. And I think that'll um, ease a lot of people's um, financial stress with mortgage repayments. Now, if you look at the mortgage repayments over the last 12 months, they've risen by about 35%, which is huge, right? Um, now, average mortgage repayments in Australia are said to be about $3,500 a month. Now, that's an increase of 35%. So you're now paying an extra $1,500 uh, a month in mortgage repayments. So that's affecting, obviously, um, lower middle income earners, disposable income, and the amount they're spending out there. And hopefully that will curb inflation a little bit. But I actually don't think it's those people that are really infecting, uh, affecting inflation. I think it's more so electricity prices, uh, fuel prices, cost of goods, obviously shopping, groceries, things like that. That's really um, putting a pinch on uh, the inflation as well as the rental market. Now look at the rental market over the last uh, 12 months, um, rental fees have risen by close to 10%, which is huge. Now they've slightly fallen back a bit, but if there's a lot of people going into for sales by the end of the year. What do you think that's gonna do to the rental market? A lot of people either you know, go back to family, friends, uh, living with them, or obviously looking for rentals, and that's gonna to continue to push up the prices. Now, not only are they saying that property prices will rise over the next couple of years, they're saying that the rental fees will also increase by anywhere between two and 5% year on year over the next couple of years as well. So that's really gonna um, impact inflation as well. A lot of the experts are saying that perhaps the RBA needs to look at a, a new inflationary target instead of two to 3%, maybe three to 4% or something like that as well. Now let's look at locally here on the Sunshine Coast property market. Uh, so we've looked at you know property supply definitely down 50% um, since 20, uh, 2010. So a lot less properties available and REA or realestate.com has actually shown us that there's an increase in buyer demand by about 7% um, since May last year. So a lot more buyers looking for properties out there. And we're seeing that still at our open homes. Now, the time on market has extended slightly. Um, but it's certainly not at um, any alarming levels. The average time to market for most of the local areas in the hinterland is sitting somewhere between 30 and 40 days, which is you know fairly reasonable considering where we've come from, where properties used to sit on the market. Uh, you know, back in 2012, 2015, for anything up to 90 to even 120 days. Now, the little focus on one of our beautiful hinterland suburbs here, Wombai. It actually comes from the caddy word. Uh, which means black myrtle tree. So there you go, a little bit of a snippet into what Wombai means. Now, Wombai is one of those gorgeous hinterland towns right on the railway line. So great place for, for people that have to commute to Brisbane for work or leisure. Um, it's very convenient in all respects there. And it's also one of those little townships, which is nice and quiet and peaceful, uh, very community focused, um, but you're close to everything you need. Um, within 25 minutes to most of the exquisite beaches on the Sunshine Coast and in Australia. Um, you can get to those. The Sunshine Plaza is only 20 minutes drive as well. And then you've got, um, you know, Noosa North or Caloundra South, um, you name it. We've got um, a very prominent location there uh, in the Wombai market. Now, looking at the market closely in Wombai, REA has said that there's a roughly 2,300 buyers per property looking at the moment to purchase. Um, so they're fairly good numbers. The median price in the air has fallen slightly, so it's currently sitting at $800,000, um, which is down by about 2.3% uh, year on year, but I expect that will go up from here as well. Um, rental market-wise, um, average rental prices for the area is sitting somewhere around the $650 mark per week. So look, lovely little hinterland town location, and certainly one to look at if you like nice townships nice private location surrounded by greenery, but still within um, a fairly easy commute to all the, uh, the joys of the Sunshine Coast. So that is one by guys, and that is my weekly uh, real estate market update. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if there's anything you need, let us know. Um, we've got a number of properties currently on the market and coming to the market. Um, I can name a few quickly. So we've got a beautiful property, Coolum. Um, check out the image here. Mount Coolum's a gorgeous place there, and this, but is absolutely superb. Nice three bedroom villa, plenty of um, living space in the middle 
um, level and upstairs you've got three spacious bedrooms as well as the views and you capture those sea breezes as well. I have created a video here on YouTube, so check that out as well. We've got another beautiful property that's currently being prepared for the market. It's gonna take a couple of months, but the owners have said if you have a buyer looking for you know, 12 acres, hinterland location, uh, very much a lifestyle acreage block, um, not a usable block, um, but still a bit of space around the house, nice big shed and a lovely big four bedroom home as well. So if you're looking for a nice acreage location, they're happy to show people through before they're actually ready to go to market as well. Another couple of uh, residential homes coming up very, very soon within the next week or two in Mumbai and Palmwood. So look, if you're looking to buy in the area, give us a call, we'd love to help you. And for those people that are contemplating selling over the next six to 12 months and wondering how the current property market might affect you and when is the best time for you, get in touch, um, no obligation, consultation. We'd love to sit down with you and chat to more to you about your plans moving forward. You guys have a great week and I'll talk soon.